Let's dive right in. Google's Dark Web Report tool is a feature designed to enhance online security by scanning the dark web for any instances of your email address. This can be particularly useful for identifying potential data breaches or instances where your personal information might be compromised. To utilize this tool, you must have a Google One membership, which comes with various plans, including an option for a free trial for those new to the service. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to use the Dark Web Report. Sign up for Google One. If you're not already a Google One member, visit the Google One website and choose a membership plan that suits your needs. There's usually an option for a free trial for new members, allowing you to test the services without immediate commitment. Navigate to the Google One website by entering HTTPS g1.google.com into your web browser, look for the Dark Web Report feature, which might be listed under Security Features or Benefits for Google One members. Running the scan, once in the Dark Web Report section, you'll find a field to enter your email address. Type in the email address you wish to check. Click on the Run Scan button to initiate the process. The tool will then proceed to scan dark web databases and forums to check if your email address is present. If it finds your email address, the Dark Web Report will provide you with detailed information including the date and time when your email address was detected on the dark web, giving you an idea of when the potential breach might have occurred. Source, Website the specific website or forum on the dark web where your email address was found. This can sometimes indicate the origin of the data leak, type of leaked data, detailed information about what kind of data was compromised, such as personal details, name, address, or sensitive data, passwords, financial information. Armed with this information, you can take appropriate measures to secure your account, such as changing passwords, setting up two-factor authentication, or even contacting the affected services for further advice on protecting your information.